Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a date picker to your cart page. I know, Andrew, Wednesdays are for strategy videos, not for coding videos. What are you doing? But Black Friday is coming up and we are really crushed with work right now. So I gotta make this a quick dev video instead of a strategy video. Sorry if you're expecting a strategy video. Enough about that. In this video, I'll show you how to add a date picker so that people in the cart can say, hey, deliver this by this date. Or maybe for pickup, say like, hey, I wanna pick it up at this date can be useful as well. Quick side note, this does not work out for slide out cards, so you have to do it on the card page, which frankly is better anyway, because slide out cards on an analytic standpoint, I don't really like them. I don't think the data you get from them is accurate, but that's a whole different other discussion for a strategy video, maybe next one. All right, let's just jump straight into our demo store right here. Um, you can see what it currently looks like. I want to add the camera film. Um, I'm adding it to the cart. There is a slide out cart. Oh no, I view the cart. And as you can see, there's no way for me to pick a date. Let us change a saw. So in order to do this, I'm going to go to online store right here. This is my current live team. We're going to click on action and duplicate. Make sure to have a duplicate whenever you touch code do it on a backup version, never change the code on your live version. Just don't do it. We're waiting for it to be copied. And once it is, we can click on actions and we can click on edit code. Bienvenue in the code editor. Good time. So depending on which theme you have, you might need to add uh, some jQuery tags, which jQuery is an external library that with a whole bunch of pre-installed things in it. Um, it's kind of long to explain right now, but basically just go into team.liquid. There is a link down below in the description. Just follow that and you have the code snippets just pasted and ready for you to copy paste. We're going to look for the closing head tag. So the easiest way to do that is command F on a Mac control Control F on a Windows, and then you write a head and see this is the closing head tag. This is what you're looking for. Uh, the little forward slash head, not this one. That's the opening head tag. When there is no forward slash, that means you're opening it. And right here, that means you're closing that section off. So we want to be right here. So go right in front of it, hit, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Right in front of it, hit enter a couple of times like that. Spacings don't really matter. So this is not going to change anything to your code. And then here we're going to paste that jQuery uh, tag. So we're going to copy it from the document uh, link below. And we're just going to paste that right here. And it should look something like this. So you hit save. Again, this is only something you'll need to do if you use the boundless, the debut, the express, the narrative or the venture theme. Uh, maybe also some other teams. I mean, I don't know all of the teams by heart, but if you use one of those five, definitely do this. Otherwise, you should be good. All right, then we're going to go right here to the snippet section and we're going to click on add a new snippet. It's gonna ask us, what do you want the snippet to be called? And we're going to name it exactly the same way as it's named in the doc from the link down below. So we're gonna control paste that right here. Delivery date, it's called. Make sure there's no spacing in front or in the back and that it's exactly the same way. It's easier to just copy paste it to avoid errors. Um, create the snippet. There we go, the snippet is created. And in your new snippet, you're going to be pasting the code that's provided. So let's do all that. Bup, 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 bup. Right here, we're going to paste in that code. It should start uh, with here, the little tag, and then opening a script, and then closing a script. Uh, that's what it should look like. So we can save this. And so now the code of the date picker exists, but our site doesn't really know where we want the date picker to be displayed yet. So this little snippet, we're going to put that on the cart page. So we're going to go in the section uh, 
section section right here if you don't have sections that means you have a really really outdated old theme you might want to consider updating your theme but anyway if you don't have sections you can also do this in templates but if you have sections do it in your section and we're going to be looking for the cart template so it's right here cart template click on it and it opens up and we're going to find the closing form tag. So the easiest way to do that is Command F on a Mac, Control F on a uh, PC, and you type in form. That's not how you type form, Andrew, form. There you go, this is an opening form tag. Remember, if there's no forward slash on it, that means it's an opening tag. Um, that's information, that's not what we need. Information, information, form, here form with a forward slash meaning this is the closing tag of the form section we want to be right there so right in front of it we're going to hit enter a couple of times to create spacing and then we're going to copy and paste that last piece of code right here control a paste so this basically says, hey, remember that snippet delivery date that we made right here? Well, include that on our uh, cart template. So um, now the code knows that it has to go get all that little delivery date code that we wrote earlier. And then if you wanna be nice to any other developers that come in the future, you can do the following writing. Um, very date code snippet. You can write exactly what I wrote here. And this is basically a little line of comments. So this is not, this is just commenting my code, it's called. And that's for any future developer that walks in, they can immediately see what's the render delivery date. But with the comment now, they're like, oh, that's the delivery date code snippet, perfect. If you don't comment your code, it takes any future developers a long time to figure out what they're actually looking at. So commenting code is 100% optional, but you should really do it because it's going to save you money down the line. Anyway, don't break your head over this. Once that's done, you can click save and we should be all good to go. Let's test that out. Let's go back to our online store right here. So this is our live version. So on the live version, we haven't changed anything, but we changed stuff on the non-live version. So let's see if it worked correctly. We click on actions and preview. It's going to load. So it's saying that I'm in a preview mode, perfect. Let's add another one to the cart. Again, this does not work on the slide out cart, so you might wanna disable that. Oh, and here we go. We have a pick a delivery date. We do not deliver during weekends. And oh, that's beautiful. There you go. I want to check out with that delivery date. But wait, Andrew, I don't like the text that's written there because I do deliver on weekends. Not to worry. You can change that text. Damn, that's some expensive camera filming. Anyway, let's show you how to change the text. So you go back in the version that we have previously worked on, you click on actions, you click on edit code right here, and then you're going to go into that snippet. Remember that snippet that we made earlier? So it should be somewhere snippets. Um, here, delivery date, there should be a little dot next to it to say that was updated recently. And if you can see here, there is some text here, pick a delivery date, it says. We do not deliver on weekends. Well, as long as you don't touch the weird little symbols and the beginning and at the end, you see the ones that are highlighted, just don't touch that. And here, the actual text, you can write whatever you want. Write whatever you want here. Maybe with a dot. Huh? <laughs> I'm kidding, the dot doesn't matter. You can literally write whatever you want. Um, and then pick a delivery date. Let's change that as well to pick a pickup date. Pick up a pickup date date, let's do that. Just to prove the fact that, uh, let's write an exclamation mark, to prove the fact that it can really be anything, as long as you don't touch the highlighted parts. See, don't touch that, that's code, no bueno, just write whatever you want in between. 
Let's go look at our, our preview version. Here we go. Copy. We do a little preview. Oh, it was still little. Let's go to the cart. Pick a pickup date date. Write whatever you want here. Look at that. It works. And for people asking, how am I going to get the information as a store owner? Well, it's going to be added as a note to every order. So you can just see it um, whenever an order is made. I can't really show you this, but whenever an order is made, you're going to have um, the order. And then as a note to the order, there is going to be the delivery date. The final step that will be left for you is to actually make this live because it's not live. So once you're happy about the result, you can click action and publish. Let's check one more thing before we actually make it live. I right click on my mouse and this only works on Chrome. I can inspect. Then I'm gonna hit that little thing right here, toggle device toolbar. And this simulates uh, in this case a pixel, but let's say I want the iPhone 8 plus. And this is how my delivery date is going to look on the iPhone 8 Plus. What is it going to look at on an iPad? All right, that's acceptable. Um, perfect. So now I'm ready to make this my live version. I go back to my store. I go into online store themes. Right here, I click action. This is the version I worked on. And I click publish. It's gonna ask me if I'm sure I wanna publish it. Yes, I'm sure because I tested it and it works. So let's publish it. And there you go. Now it's a live version and my clients have the option to pick a pickup date date with an exclamation point. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope this video has helped you. There is other coding videos that I do whenever I have the green hoodie. I do strategy videos on how to make you more money and I do app review videos as well. Please check out the channel. If you look at another video, it tells YouTube that my videos are decently interesting and YouTube will show my videos to more people. So that would help me a lot. And I will see you in another coding strategy app review video. Who knows? Adios.